What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Blockhash Podcast channel. Today, we'll be doing chart analysis on HBAR, Hedera Hash Graph. Obviously, it has been beaten down over the past couple of years, but it has started to really break out, and you can see that. And we've tested one of the major areas of resistance here in early March, which is around 13, 9, 14 cents. Next levels will be 15, 9, and 18, 7. Uh, we're getting there and moving in the right direction. This is all a positive sign for HBAR and much steeper growth. Uh, since October of last year, where we broke out of this wedge. So everything's heading in the right direction for HBAR, and I would expect a relatively large push relatively soon. Um, obviously, there was a little bit of fluctuation because people thought that BlackRock had ties with HBAR, uh, so it sent it soaring uh, just uh, the past week, where it went up as high as $0.18 cents temporarily. Um, but that pulled back as BlackRock denied any ties to Hedera, crashed. It went up 30-something percent, pulled back 30-something percent. A little wild out there right now. But a lot of positive signs for uh, Hedera. And I think that HBAR is going to have a lot of appreciating value here um, just in the short term and going into the rest of the year. So looking at some of the stats um, the Bollinger Band is probably not going to be helpful today, so I'm going to ignore that one. I'm going to pull up the EMA if it will allow me here. Come on. There we go. So sitting very nice and healthy right above the EMA, holding this pretty strong here above $0.09, cents, which is what I like to see. Um, uh, kind of holding the 2050 but strongly holding the 100 and strongly holding the 200 Those are good signs and what you want to see in a in a bull market. Uh, we saw that in February, it hit the 200 and popped significantly back to the upside. Um, we saw it dip below slightly here in mid-April and then pop back to the upside. So um, all very good signs. On the MACD, uh, we are more or less above the moving average coming back into the volume bars, which is a good sign. Going to move over to the RSI real quickly to show you where overbought and oversold levels look like. Um, Last time we were overbought was in late February, early to mid-March. Came back down, got oversold here um, in April. And now we're uh, sitting kind of right in the middle after a wonky week or two. But you can see the trends and the patterns here. When it gets overbought, we definitely have some pullbacks that come in. When we get oversold, we definitely start to go on a run after that. We got very oversold here, um, kind of mediating things. But I think that this is going to play out. Uh, very nicely for us. Um, I'm going to move this down a little bit and change what some of the direction looks like. And then when you kind of back out on the daily, uh, you can see that this has gotten much, much steeper and in a positive way. Um, again, don't take these lines uh, for certain. Think of it more as a range. You know, it's more or less uh, 67 cents to 66 cents than it is one single price across the board or going up. Um, that's why you see things dip below these lines because they're not exact. We don't, we don't know anything for certain. What I do know for certain is that we're making larger moves on a monthly basis. Um, you know, December was a good month. Uh, February to early March was a good month. We're seeing some things happen here in April. I think May and June will also be very good months heading into the summer. I think we're very close to seeing this whole market rip, but HBAR is looking very positive and I like the direction that it's heading. Um, so that's something to keep in mind in terms of price predictions. I do see no reason why it can't come back up and test uh, 14 cents. I'm expecting it in this month or June. I'm going to say June. I think in June we're going to get up to 16 cents, and I think we're going to hold that level. Um, it's a little ambitious on my part, but I do think we'll get there. But in the meantime, let's see if we can hit 14 cents here in May and hold that, and then that'll be a nice springboard uh, to get us to the upside going further for HBAR. Uh, but comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think about Hedera Hashgraph as a foundation, as a protocol, and what they're doing and some of their developments. They do have a fantastic ecosystem, a lot of TVL. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.